everyone, and welcome to the start of the Tour Down Under. A uh, great day for uh, Team Radar Shack as they do their very first race uh, here on Australian soil, uh, part of the uh, whole global uh, nature of cycling. Uh, today we're doing a criterium. It doesn't count to the overall standings of the race, kind of a way to kick things off. Uh, we're going to go ahead over the team's presentation here in a little bit. Uh, it's a big day here. Number one thing, it's windy. Stay safe, but at least it's dry. Uh, we got a lot to show you, so let's, uh, let's get to racing. Paul Sherwin, Paul, what do you think of the vibe here for Tour Down Under? I think everybody's excited. You know, it's the first race of the year and everyone wants it to get underway. And everybody really wants to see uh, the riders in Radio Shack in their new kit for the first time on the open roads. Johan, always a man for a challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, there was a great comeback to the sport last year at the uh, Tour Down Under. It was a comeback by a man by the name of Lance Armstrong. Now, are we glad to see him back in Adelaide again this year? I, I think everybody's glad to see you back, Lance. It's always difficult to make a comeback, but the whole of South Australia got behind you last year, and it looks as if they're going to be here right behind you once again for, for year number two of the comeback. Well, we had a, um, it goes without saying that we had a blast, uh, as we say, uh, in the United States, we had a blast here last year, and the fans were very supportive. Um, I honestly didn't know last year when I was here if, if I would be back, because I didn't know if I'd race again, but certain things fell into place, and, and Radio Shack came along and supported this great team, and we got a great bunch of guys, and, and it sort of put the band really back together, and so uh, what the heck, we're going to go for it another year or so, and then... Uh, it's just great to be here. I mean, the fans support all the way from what you see today, what we'll see all week, uh, to what you saw yesterday on the Twitter ride with thousands of people. I mean, it's, it's, uh, this is, uh, this is, you know, sometimes in cycling, you talk about cycling meccas, and, and Adelaide and South Australia is certainly one of them. One of the, one of the motivating things behind your comeback is to, to promote the global cancer campaign, and. South Australia and the, the governments of Australia very much got behind you and supported you in that. Well, not only the, the government here, but the, the federal government as well. And, and uh, you know, we've started some great things. As I tell people and remind people all the time, uh, we're still in business, so that means we've got a lot of work to do. And uh, we'll keep plugging away, and ultimately, uh, I think we'll see a day in our lifetime where, uh, where our friends and family don't die from this disease. Well, that's the message Lance wants to get out, but this is the team that we want to see out on the open road. Ladies and gentlemen, from the United States of America, brand new this year, Team Radio Jack. Team Radio Shack, can we thank them? And also, can we thank Phil Lee and Mr. Lee, ladies and gentlemen? Our Santos Tour Down Under is the premier cycling event in the Southern Hemisphere. We've been going for 12 years, but until we were pro tour status, people didn't even know we existed. But now, with Lance Armstrong and the visit of Radio Shack, we are so much on the map and so pleased to be associated with Livestrong as well. Pleased to sponsor this race. It's a great opportunity to raise awareness about cancer in the community, particularly with Lance Armstrong um, racing. It's just fantastic. Raising awareness about cancer in the community will be fabulous. People can. Um, all sorts of things with uh, knowing we exist, ring our cancer helpline on 13 11 20. It's just fabulous. Another 117 Matsu Peugeot. And the crowd are loving it here in the front straight with these five riders. Just dropping off slightly there was uh, the uh, Prime Sprint winner, Mikael Chanel. Um, maybe he just had enough legs to take out the Prime Sprint, but he looked like he was struggling a little bit at the back of the pack. Now, Team Katusha is starting to move forward now. Here they come to the sprint finish now. They fly across the track. Rifles coming at the Team Sky. Oh, the English have done it, ladies and gentlemen. Greg Henderson from New Zealand has taken it out. So, it was a good day here for the Tour Down Under. Uh, they couldn't really have it any better than to have Lance Armstrong off the front with uh, almost 75% of the race. And at the end of the day, Greg Henderson, Team Sky, first to race, first victory. Here they are right here.
One heck of a way to a uh, little preview of the tour down under. Tomorrow's a rest day. Of course, we'll have lots more to tell you about. But a uh, very good day here, and we'll talk to you soon. Ciao for now.